What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Today is Wednesday and I finally have a day off. Kind of a day off, at least from Whole Foods. Was finally able to get some rest. Holy crap. But I'm feeling good today. I'm gonna to be helping Chris out with his spark plugs and we're gonna be doing oil chains on his Speed 3. Also going to be doing some more Las Vegas slammed enough prep work. It's already next week, guys. We have less than 10 days to get everything situated. Still gotta do some maintenance work on the Prelude. Still gotta put some brakes in and a thermostat in Jeff's truck. Still gotta buy floorboards for the trailer we'll be using. And then I need to collect the wheels from Ernesto and clean those up and just get everything squared away. Also just need to do a touch up paint correction on the Prelude. Oh, it's gonna be a busy 10 days, guys, but I'm super grateful. Again, Slammed Enough Las Vegas, November 3rd. If you're gonna be there, let's hang up. Let's, let's hang out, let's link up, let's have a good time. Can't wait for Friday, that's when we'll be leaving. Friday morning, we'll get there like Friday afternoon-ish. Relax a little bit, then we'll hit the strip, have some drinks, get some food with all the boys. I can't wait guys, I can't wait to film all this. We're gonna be about from, from Arizona or from Tucson, Arizona, we're gonna be about 20, 25 cars rolling deep to Vegas. I cannot wait guys. But I'm gonna link up with Chris right now, so let's get today started. What is up everybody? Just made it to Chick-fil-A, traffic was horrible. Goodness gracious, all this construction going on. Oh, hello today. The, oh, look at that hair's cut. Oh, yeet, yeet. Let's get some of this dick filet. What is up, guys? Chick fil A was delicious as always. Right now, Chris and. Sorry, did you guys hear that skirt? Skirt? But right now, Chris and I are going to go to O'Reilly's, buy a new oil pan and a tarp because can't keep dropping oil on my garage floor. But we'll see you at O'Reilly's. What are we getting, boy? E. Oh. Perks of having friends at work. Let's check this back stock. <sighs> What's up, guys? Just made it back home. Oh. Ooh, Adam's polish. Thank you, brothers. I'm trying to get Chris up here in the driveway. Send it, boy. Alright guys, so as we let the Mazda Roddy cool itself down, got some dope stuff from Adams Polish to re-up on my detailing, ultra foam shampoo, some detail spray, and I just like this hand cleaner because it's it works wonders. It smells good and takes all the dead skin off your hands. Shout out to the boys. And dude, this mint is weak. Mint game weak. Okay ma'am, calm down. What kind of shots? All right, guys, so right now we're going to do the oil change and then the spark plugs. Chris, you want to tell them why you're running this Rotella diesel oil in your Mazda Roddy? I mean, that's pretty much the same as just normal oil. There's nothing super special. It just has more cleaners, but the diesel motors run a lot dirtier. And they're a lot more, well, how should I say? They're all more abusive, I guess you can call it. I feel that, I feel so, that. Hopefully the oil lasts a little longer. All right. So not even till my 3,000 miles yet. And we'll show you guys. Yeet. Uh, the oil's pretty dark already. Well, we've been sending it, kind of. All right guys, got the car in jack stands. Would really consider investing into one of these lay down creepers. The creeper, well, it's not mine, Warren just it's too lazy to pick it up, but 1010 would recommend. I also watch a lot of YouTube channels and I have not seen anyone yet lay down a tarp for their oil change. Good looks, Christopher. I bet it's burning, but it's like lava right now. Neat. 
Perfect! Oh wait, it just blew up everywhere. It's all Gucci. What's up guys? Just got the old oil filter off. We're gonna... We always use Canon oil filters, high flow. Never let us down. All right guys, got the new oil filter in. Currently filling this bitch up. Then we'll do the spark plugs. Take it for a test drive. And then we'll see what we do after that. All right guys, car is almost on the ground. So before we start the car, we're gonna change the spark plugs out and also clean the map sensor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out these Allen bolts here. Take off the top mount cooler to get to the coil packs. All right guys, got the top mount cooler off. I'm gonna take out the coil packs and then swap with the plugs. Look at the it's like fucking gold and shit. Oh yeah, downpipe install. Oh, damn, it did shift colors. Hit us up for all your exhaust, any car needs. Yeet! All right guys, got these spark plugs out. And wait till you see them. These are cold. And these are Donzo, dude. Not Denzo, Donzo. Fomoco. Focus. Fomoco. So we don't know what brand these are, but these Ford. are. Fomoco. Oh, this is Ford? Ford. Oh yeah, because Ford Mazda. Ford but yeah, these are hella gas. What we're going with today is what I always run to in any cars I own are the NGK radiums. They burn good, spark good. Gapping the spark plugs. So yeah, let's. You need a gapper to you measure need a your gap. Spark plug. So the way that you want to do it is, is we actually need to gap these hella down. Because if you stick the plug in here. We'll stick in there and that's when it stops that's what the gap is so these are 40 gap or 0 0.040 gap and then this thing would normally be used to gap it up put it in there you gap it up but we need to gap down we need to gap down so you gotta take it gotta find a sturdy surface and just oh tap it down measure hit it with a tap it, tap it down measure it we need to go all the way like down here. <laughs> oh damn, almost half. Yeah. All right guys, wish us luck. All right guys, so we gapped down the spark plugs by just lightning hitting it on the concrete here. Down between 0.28 and 0.29. We're gonna lube them up and then put them in the head. Uh -huh. And then double check our work. Cause spark comparison. plug, bad spark plug. You versus the guy she doesn't have to worry about. <laughs> Doo -doo -tsh. So we'll get all those joints good, start the car up. Ernesto's also coming over, so we're gonna be doing the wheel swap, thank God, and then get some boba, and we'll play everything else by ear. All right, guys, got the plugs in, got the coil packs in. Remember, when you put them in, just hand tighten, then three quarter turn, turn, turn with the wrench. Are we gonna clean the, the MAF? Maybe, yes, no, maybe. Where's that, Johnny? Oh, it's not there. We might as well, right? Oh, no, I'm gonna clean it. Okay, we're gonna clean the map right now, let it dry off, give the car a startup, and well, do some gonna, mad pulls. I'm gonna put the intercooler right on. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Where's that, Johnny? Put the top mount back on, and then clean the map, and then check everything, start her up, and then do some mad pulls. What's up, guys? Just another update. Got the top mount cooler reinstalled. Right now, waiting for the map sensor to fully dry out. Chris is looking like a snack as always. <laughs> Just enjoying this beautiful weather. Isn't This Johnny and drying off. Beautiful. What's up guys? Mazda is doing good right now, Chris and I. We're gonna take it around the block, get some clips for you guys. I don't know if we're gonna do any pulls, it's because of the new oil and these spark plugs, but already sounding significantly better. Sounds like it's running a lot smoother. He had a problem with the car running rich, but I think that might have fixed it with the new spark plugs. What's up guys, just a minute back home. Maserati is sounding and running so good, God bless. Right now, currently waiting on Nesto and potentially Warren. I might potentially wash the Prelude right now just because I haven't washed her since that storm about two weeks ago. 
Uh, but super stoked to get the wheels on and then clean those up and have her looking decent again. And then I can't wait also to get my three piece wheels all built up and looking good. What's up guys? So Nesto and Warner are taking too long. So Chris and I are going to go ahead and get some Lucky's Boba Lucky Tea. Boba. Lucky Boba. Thank you again, Colton, for hooking us up. All right guys, Bubba was just always, Nessa just shows up at my house without even telling us. Come on, bro. But we'll see you at home. What's up guys? Just made it back home. What's up, Nesto? Meep. All right. Gonna air up the prelude. Offset. Down shit. Down shit. That's gonna be Chris's rap name is Down shit. Gonna air up the prelude, get the other Maserati up here, and begin the swap. All right guys, got the work CRK off. Looking good. Now, time to mount them. All right guys, got the rear on. I'm just gonna keep the 15 millimeter spacer on. These guys here, looking good. <laughs> you talking hard though. Hanklin. All right guys. Wheels are on. What's up guys? So Prelude is looking dope right now. This is my um, max ride height. So right now we're just gonna go to QT. So we'll see you there. What's up guys? So back at the pad. Had to take off the spacer because I thought the studs were clearing the center bore of the work wheel, but I guess it was like slightly off and causing the wheel to be all wobbly. So I took that off, <laughs> fucking A. And then I didn't air up high enough getting out of my driveway and I ripped my bumper off. Oh, God damn it. But it's okay. Easy fix for the show. Shouldn't take a scientist to figure it out. But now we're gonna go to QT. What is up guys? Just made to QT. Seriously loving the work emotions. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous, honestly. When I start dating the Prelude again, I'll probably buy these again. But, because I didn't like these because the offset was too high in my taste. It's a plus 28. I know the lowest to make these in 17s is plus 17. So next year, for sure, going to send the CR Kai's. Camber is good. Beautiful. All the boys are here too. What is up guys, just made it home. I just wanna say congratulations on making the end of the video. I truly appreciate all of your love and support. Today was such an eventful day. It was going good until the whole bumper incident, but it's all good. I'm gonna get this whole bumper resprayed anyways or get a Type S bumper, because my goals are still to get a whole new front end Type S. So that'd be awesome. This will be Reflector here will be shaved off. Always love the like Euro Japanese style there or the reflectors on the quarter panel here. And then, so this is all going away next year and resprayed. Super stoked to, to have these wheels back for the show. Again, Nesto, thank you so much, man, for helping your boy out. I appreciate it. Again, like these, these specs are perfect. I can drive super low on these. They are 17 by nine plus 28. If they were 17 by 9 plus 17, I would honestly still run them, but I can drive super low on these with no problem and no rubbing. But guys, I'm gonna cut the video here because you know, we got work soon. But thank you all for your love and support. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, aim high, drive low. We'll see you next time. Take care.